Hey, and welcome back. All right, today I'm starting a new fun duping series. I had a lot of fun last year duping my polish pickup wish list, and I got a lot of great feedback from you guys that you really enjoyed that series, um, that you were inspired to start duping your own polishes, and I thought it would be really great to expand on my duping series. Um, I thought, it, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna call this series, uh, maybe like window shop with me or duping my shopping cart, something along those lines. But I thought it would be really fun to pick a brand, go on their website, look through their polishes, and I'll be recording this. Um, I'll do like a screen record. Um, go through all their polishes, pick any of the polish that I actually really like um, that I would purchase myself, make a shopping cart, and then shop my stash, which I would record this as well. Um, you guys ask me a lot of times, like, you know, how do you come up with your combos? You know, what's your creative thought process? So I thought it would be really fun if you actually get to see me shopping my stash. You know, I'll pick the bases and the toppers, everything like that. And then afterwards, I will, on screen, um, we'll make those dupes. We'll swatch the combos, make the dupes, compare them to the actual polish. Uh, you know, pictures, obviously I don't, I don't have the polish. Um, and we'll see how I do. Now I was thinking that it would probably be more beneficial in the future to possibly time this with new releases from brands. That might be a little difficult for me because I have unfollowed most of the major brands because I'm on a low buy and I don't want to be tempted by all of these new collections coming out. However, it might be more beneficial and it might be more fun for you guys if I'm actually duping new collections. So that will be something that I'll play around with. All right, so for my first video, I decided to do painted polish. Now, back when I first started getting into indies many, 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 many years ago, over a decade ago, um, they were one of the first ones that I kind of played around with. Um, not a whole lot. I didn't have a whole lot of painted polish, or I still don't. Um, but the ones that I do have, I remember being really nice. I remember they have really nice Crellies. And I have gotten a couple on Polish Pickup over the years, but I haven't really purchased from their website in many, many, many years. So I thought it would be fun to start there. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the footage of me window shopping, shopping my stash, and then I will come back and we will do the combos together. So I'll be back.
All right, you guys, so we are in my closet. I thought it would be fun for this series if I show you actually shopping my stash instead of just, you know, off camera shopping my stash and then showing you guys the swatches. Um, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing my thought process. So I am zooming out as best as I can. This might be a little awkward because we're in a tight space. The distance between my helmers and then my dresser, there's not a lot of room. So I'm going to be reading off of my iPad. I have the pictures um, of the polishes that I chose. Um, that way I can pick the best colors that I'm thinking. So the first one is called Nice Yams and it says, um, Nice Yams features black metallic flakes in a burnt tawny orange curly base. So I am thinking of polish that I just wore recently. I'm thinking of Kaftan, Kaftan by Essie. I'm thinking that might be good. Okay, this is going to be really awkward. You guys are going to see my feet. I don't... <laughs> I apologize. Um, okay, so I'm thinking maybe Kaftan. Kind of has that base. And that's too brown. This one I was also thinking of, but that's too, like, reddish. Like a brownie orange. That one's too brown. That one I think is too, although it does say burnt tawny orange, but this one just looks more burnt orange to me. Like that one, hmm. Okay, I'll set that aside too, because we can always do multiple swatches and see what we think looks best. Okay, that one, let's see back here. Okay, no. Okay, so I'm thinking that Kaftan is going to be my best bet, but then I will also experiment with Spice to Meet You. And then for the Black Flakes, I'm sure you guys know, I'm going to grab my Batsy, my thinned out version of Batsy by Rogue. Okay, the next one is Rugged Rainbow, and it says, features a rainbow of metallic glitters in a rust crelly base it says rust but honestly that looks more like salmon pink to me so i'm thinking maybe i've got like dolce de leche is kind of a is this dolce de, yeah dolce de leche is kind of a salmony pink base although that might be a little bit light then i have i'm thinking of um Orly's Marvelous something. What is it? Marvelous. Okay. Uh, what is this called? Marvelous. Yes. Um, that could be good. I'm thinking this is kind of like a, I mean, obviously it's a mauve but a mauve salmon is what I'm thinking that the painted polish looks like. Okay, let me just double check in the dark pinks to make sure there's not something that could be better. Mm, that's too dark. It's too berry-ish. Okay. I should try to pull a second one in case the Marvelous doesn't work, but... I don't think I really have anything else. I'm thinking this might be the best one. And then for the glitters, definitely glam polish. Let's see, let's start from the beginning. So they're just like a rainbow of glitters. work but I think I have something better let's see no oh this one oh, okay that could work because it's got the blue it's got the pink let me zoom in on these glitters it's got purple is there purple in here yes purple okay I think this is um, going to be a good glitter this one is rainbows and unicorns all right, so let's go to the next one. 
uh, Must Love Moss. And this one is features cobalt blue, penny copper, bronze, and orange metallic glitters in a mossy khaki crelly base. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to my greens, olive, murkies, and grungies. I'm thinking I must have something similar to this. Um, this isn't Greenland comes to mind. This one is too grassy yellow. This isn't Greenland by OPI. That's too dark. Is this it? Yeah. Yes, this isn't Greenland. That looks like it could be a pretty good color. And then also I was thinking of Ireland, which they're very similar. Um, Ireland by Zoya. I think that's not it. There we go. So these are very similar. So I'll just pick one. Let's go with the OPI. Let me just see if there's anything else that might be better. Ooh, this could be good. Cacti on the prize. Let me see. They're similar, but Cacti on the prize is a little bit lighter. That one could be nice. Let's go ahead and keep those two. And then for the glitter, I already know, as soon as I saw this, I already knew exactly which glitter I wanted to pull. It's um, one that I got recently, a couple months ago, this one by Glam Polish. It's, it was the boogeyman. Look at that, you guys. It's got the rust. It's got the blue. This is perfect. Okay, then the next one is Dapper Snapper. Features gold metallic flakes in a salmon curly base. Now, right off the bat... Um, I'm thinking of a polish. Um, it's by OPI. It's called Mural Mural. And it's kind of like a salmon-y. Oh, here it is. It's a, look at that. Isn't that perfect, you guys? It's a salmon -y pink and it's got those gold flakes. However, if I remember correctly, those gold flakes are a little sparse. So I'm, I think this might be a little jelly, jelly-ish. Um, I don't think I have coordinating undies that would kind of, um, make it a little more opaque. So I think we might just have to build this up because I think that base is perfect. And then I'm thinking in case the, in case the, um, gold flakies are a little too sparse, we can use, um, goldsmith. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, Goldsmith by Polish. Um, oh, that's that's pretty. Oh, this is for Fox Sakes. I wonder if this could be good for that first picture, for the um, the the second one, the rugged rainbow. I was gonna use Marvelous. Okay, I think we'll try that one too. So we'll try two for the Rugged Rainbow one. Okay, the last one, I believe. Yes, one more. So the last one is Slime All Yours. And to be honest, I don't know if I have a green like this. It says features pink metallic flakes in a slime green curly base. It says pink, although I see a lot of gold, golden yellow flakes. I do see little pink flakes, but I see a lot of golden yellow flakes. So I definitely want to add golden in there. Um, let's see. I don't think I saw any while we were in here earlier. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go into my light greens. I don't think I'm going to have anything quite that shade of slimy. I mean, as much as I love, you know, slimy greens, I don't have anything quite like that. It's kind of like a yellowy green slime. yellows if I might have kind of like a yellowy green mm. 
This is ochre the moon. Mm, no, that's not quite right. Ooh, okay, this could work. This is my happy base, right? Yes, my happy base. Okay, this could work. This is like a yellowy green slime. Yes, okay, oh, what's this? Ooh, that's, ooh. That's pretty too, and that has the built-in gold flakes. This is my blush lacquer's uh, positronic something. Yeah, positronic brain. Okay, that could work. Okay, let me pull both of these. Oh, look, I have another. No, that one's too dark. Um, okay, let me pull these two. And then it says in a, it has um, pink flaky, flakies as well. So let me go ahead and pull my empress by ion p and then those flakies are looking i don't know they're looking kind of glowy like glowy gold what do you think of this maybe we can always experiment okay so i'm gonna pull this one this one is soul amazing by kb shimmer all right you guys so this is what we have to work with shopping my stash i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and then we'll do some swatching and see how how well i do all right, you guys. Okay, so for the first one is Nice Yams. And if you'll remember, I pulled out Kaftan. And then Spice to Meet You. Now, in an effort for this video not to be an hour long, I did go ahead and just pre-swatch all of the bases, but we're gonna do the toppers together. Okay, so I chose um, Rogue's Batsy, my thinned out version. So we're going to see how this turns out. Looking at these, I do think that Kaftan is still going to be the best one. Okay, so I'm just going to do a thin coat of Batsy. And then, of course, at the end, after... I decide which one I think is the best dupe. I will get a swatch of the dupe and I will put it on the screen to compare with the actual polish. Okay, oh, so that looks really good, I think. I think that's a pretty close dupe so far. Let's go ahead and see what this Spice to Meet You looks like. Okay, so I definitely think Batsy is spot on for the flakes. I think this one, the Spice to Meet You, is pretty good, but I feel like it's just a little bit too rusty orange, even though it says it's in a tawny, a burnt tawny orange curly base. I feel like this one is closer. It's a little bit more kind of like, instead of rusty, it's more like a like a brownie orange almost. I feel like this one is pretty good, you guys. What do you think? Okay, and the second one was Rugged Rainbow. And if you'll remember, I pulled out Marvelous by Orly. Which looking at it, I really think this is too blushy and it needs to be more salmon. And then a happy accident when I was going through my oranges, I found this one, which is um, For Fox Sake by KB Shimmer, which is a hard favorite, by the way. I've worn this many times over the years. I love this one. And this is what they look like. And honestly, I feel like the For Fox Sake is pretty spot on. I think it maybe it's a little bit darker, but it's definitely, um, much better than the Marvelous. The Marvelous is too mauve, obviously, the name Marvelous. And this one pulls more of that salmon color. Um, like I said, I think it's a little bit darker. However, I think it's a pretty good, a pretty good um, substitute. Let's see how it looks with 
the glitters, I chose Glam Polish, Rainbows, and Unicorns. Look at those glitters, you guys. I think some of the glitters are bigger than what's in the painted polish, but remember, we're just duping the vibe and not, don't ever expect to get an exact dupe for everything. All right, so let's do one coat over the Marvelous and then the Fox Sakes, for Fox Sakes. Okay, I really like the glitters. I don't like the Marvelous base though. Okay, let's see how it looks over for Fox Sake. Oh, that's pretty, you guys. Look at that. I'm really happy with that. That's pretty close. You've got the yellow, you've got the blue, you've got the purple, you've even got the pink. All the colors are right. Some of the sizes are a little different and the color, the base, is just a little bit off, but honestly, you guys, I'm really happy with that. I can't wait to see how these swatches look on my nails. Okay, and then the next one is Must Love Moss, and it says cobalt blue, penny copper, bronze, and orange metallic glitters in a mossy khaki crelly base. So if you remember, we pulled OPI's This Isn't Greenland. I've had this one for a long time. And then Cac Day on the Prize by Essie. Now, although they look pretty similar in the bottle, the Cac Day on the Prize is a little bit lighter. Look how much lighter it is on the actual nail wheel. So this is, isn't Greenland and this is Cac Day on the Prize. This one I feel is as close as I'm gonna get. I really like This Isn't Greenland. I think that's, like I said, as close as I'm gonna get. It's as, um, it's really good in my opinion. All right, now the glitters. I'm so excited about these. I love this one. This is Glam Polish. It was a boogeyman. I got this a few months ago and I wore it pretty much as soon as I got it. It's so beautiful. It's got those copper, Glitters, it's got the blue glitters. It's just beautiful. And I have a feeling this is going to be amazing. Oh, I never um, swatched out the brush on this one. I forgot to swap out. I swap out all my glam polishes with um, replacement brushes from Cupcake Polish and I never swapped this one out. That's unfortunate. Oh, you guys, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, that, that is spot on, you guys. I love this one. Let's see how it looks over the cacti on the prize. Okay, that one's beautiful as well. This one, however, is a spot on dupe in my opinion. I love that. This is so fun, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be the one that I swatch on my nails. Okay, the next one is Dapper Snapper. This is the one that uh, gold, has gold metallic flakes and a salmon crelly base. So right off the bat, I was thinking of OPI's mural mural, mural mural on the wall. But remember I was saying that I, if I remember correctly, it's very jelly and that I wish I had coordinating undies, but I couldn't really see any coordinating undies. And then also that the gold flakes were a little bit sparse and I wanted to enhance those flakes. So I did three coats of the mural mural and it's very sheer. I think the color is good, but it's very sheer. And then you guys, I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place. I took for Fox sake from before and I used that as undies. And then I did two thin coats of the mural mural. And look at that, you guys, that's almost an exact 
color. So with the undies and then the mural mural on top, that is perfect. I'm so pleased with that. The only thing that's missing is the flakes are a little subdued. So let's go ahead and amp those up with the Goldsmith by Polish. Yeah, those flakies are perfect. But again, this is too sheer. This is gonna be beautiful, I can already tell. Oh, look at that, you guys. That is perfect. So we've got for Fox sake as the undies, mural, mural, on top and then polished goldsmith as the flakies and I feel like that's spot on okay you guys the last one this one is slime all yours and it features pink metallic flakes and a slime green curly base now remember when I'm saying that to me this really looks like it has gold flakes and pink flakes. So I don't know why it doesn't even mention gold flakes at all, but I did decide um, I wanted to play around with gold. Anyways, the two bases that I chose were my happy bass, my happy base, and then Positronic Brain by Blush Lacquers. And this one has the built-in gold flakes. All right, you guys, look at these. These are pretty good. I didn't think I had anything quite close enough for Slime All Yours, but these ones I feel like are, are pretty, pretty good. I'm actually um, pleasantly surprised that I was able to get a color base close enough. Okay, so for the My Happy Base, I'm thinking, let's play around and do the KB Shimmer So Amazing, and then we can do the Island P Empress. And then I'm thinking for the Positronic Brain, since it already has those subtle gold flakies, let's maybe just do the Empress and see how it looks. If I feel like after that, I wanna add a little bit more, then we can add the Soul, the Soul Amazing. Okay, so let's start with Soul Amazing first. Okay, yeah, I like that. I love so amazing. It's so amazing. Okay, let's let that dry for a second. All right, let's go ahead and swap Empress. See how that looks. Okay, that's pretty. Something about it is a little different though. The, the Soul Amazing Flakies are more iridescent. And then the ones on the Slime All Yours, they look like they're more opaque. So it is giving a slightly different look. However, I feel like it's pretty good with the, the gold and then the pink. I think the pink gets a little lost. However, in the pictures, for Slime All Yours, the pink is barely detectable anyways. Mostly I just see gold flakies. All right, let's go ahead and do Just Empress over the Positronic Brain. See how we feel about that. Okay, that is really pretty. I really like the combo. I'm wondering, you guys, let's just, I just wanna see, instead of using Soul Amazing, I wanna see how it will look with the opaque flakes. In fact, I, I'm going to 
Reese, watch them both, and then let's play around with using the Goldsmith instead of Soul Amazing. But first, let me see how it looks on this one, combining the two. Okay. Yeah, I like that much better. Actually, you know what? I'm kind of happy with this. I don't think we need to re-swatch anything. I'm pretty happy with that. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm pleased with that. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch on my nails this one. And then this one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so I went ahead and did all the swatches. The first one for Nice Yams, I ended up doing the Kaftan with the Bapsi. And this was really good, you guys. Really, really happy with this one. I thought it was pretty close. Uh, maybe the tone is just a little bit off, but overall, the vibe is 100% there, and I'm very happy with this one. Okay, now the second one, Rugged Rainbow. So I know I said when I was doing the nail wheel that I was going to go ahead and use the Four Fox Sake and then the Rainbows and Unicorns. On the nail wheel, I thought that that one looked the best to me. And then when I actually swatched this, it was, it was wrong. This is way too bright and too, it has too much salmon in it. I wanted something a little more brown. So I went back to my initial thought, which was marvelous. And I swatched this and you guys, this was so much better. So my initial instinct to use marvelous was correct. And this was very good. It wasn't exact. However, it was pretty close and it was definitely much better than the for, for fox sake and i'm pretty pleased with this okay and then the next one which was must love moss i went with the this isn't greenland like i said and then it was a, it was the boogeyman love this very 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 happy with this dupe okay and then the next one was dapper snapper and i ended up using the for fox sake and then the mural mural on top and then the goldsmith on top of that and this was really good this was so spot on i'm very very impressed with this one all right and then the last one was slime all yours now when we we're doing the swatches i said that i wanted to use positronic brain and then no i said not i wasn't going to use the did i um Yes, I ended up using Goldsmith and then I used Empress on top. I liked this, but when I was comparing it to the swatches of Slime All Yours, it just felt off. This one is a sheer jelly, and so the overall polish just still had that very jelly feel to it, and I didn't love it. So I decided to go back to, again, my initial thought, which was my happy base, and then instead of doing the um, Soul Amazing like I had originally swatched on the wheel. I went ahead and used Goldsmith and then I used Empress on top of that. And this was much better. I think this was a pretty good dupe attempt, not perfect by any means, but I do think it was really good and I wouldn't feel the need to buy Slime All Yours. So I am overall happy with all five of these dupes. I do not have any intentions on buying any of the painted polish. Um, this was really fun for me, guys. Let me know down below what you thought, if you have any suggestions, things that might make it better, um, little tweaks here and there. But I feel like overall, I like the format of this. Um, you guys let me know down below. And then also, if you guys have any specific, possibly collections or just a brand in general that you would like me to dupe, Send me a DM on Instagram. I think that'll be the easiest place. And then I can take a screenshot and, you know, save it for, um, you know, upcoming videos. So go ahead and do that. If you have any comments, 
Leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.